Hi guys, Mohamed Hassan here and in this video we will create an amazing HTML CSS effect. Here's an input field and when I click on this input field, uh, the label uh, goes up with an animation and uh, the border of this input field changed. When I type something here, for example, and click outside, the label stays on the top. When I remove uh, everything from input field, the label goes inside again the input field. So how to create this? Uh, let's open our code editor. You can use any code editor. I'm using VS Code. In your code editor, you can create a file. I'm creating, I've named it input.html. You can name it anything you like. Uh, after that, I'm creating a boilerplate. Here's my boilerplate and in the head tag, I'm creating a style tag for CSS and in the body, I'm creating diff and inside the diff, I'm creating a label and in input field. Class input group uh, to this diff and inside that diff, I'm creating a input field and it will be text and uh, giving a name if you want, but I'm not giving a name to it. Uh, but the ID will be F name or you can call it username giving a class to it giving a required property means that uh, this field is required when you are submitting it now creating a label and uh, the label is F name a uh, first name and uh, I'm giving a class to it. So this is our HTML. That's only uh, a div and an input field and a label. Let's preview it with live preview extension. This is the preview. Uh, now let's apply CSS to it. First of all, uh, give a body, a background color. And the color will be black. You can type black or give triple zero and uh, I'm giving a margin so the uh, div uh, will be on the distance with the top and left border after that after that let's apply property to input group uh, first of all apply a text color the text color property is color and color will be white and uh, applying padding Padding will be 10 pixels, all side and uh, border will be none because I don't want to apply border to input field yet. Let's apply border radius to round the border and uh, border radius uh, maybe 4 is better. Outline will be 2 pixels solid and uh, the color will be let's use white and uh, background will be transparent so there is no background in this input field and uh, position will be relative let's remove the position uh, from here here's your uh, input field when you, when i type the input field uh, the text will be white and background will be transparent outline will be white border radius applied so let's apply second uh, property to label top will be zero left will be zero pixels or you can type zero and uh, transform translate 10 pixels and 10 pixels mm, transform origin will be left color uh, the text color will be white here you can see uh, the text is shown now uh, the first time is on the right side but outside the input field let's apply position so 
the text will be on the top of this input field. Uh, the position will be absolute. Uh, now you can see that this text is uh, on the uh, top of the page. After applying position, let's uh, give it a transaction. Transition uh, will be transform Two hundred millisecond. Now uh, the text is not on the position correct position. Let's apply input group. I am applying input group to property uh, position relative. So now you can see that the text is inside the input field because we use input uh, group a uh, property relative and the property to the label is absolute. When I click on this input field, I just want to change the appearance of focus on this uh, input field means when I click on it. Input group, input and uh, colon focus and the focus will be outline color changed outline color outline color will be let's start 3350eb that's a purple color so when i click on it the outline will be changed to uh, this purple color so let's give input a transition means that when the text when i click on this input field the text goes up and the animation i want is to smooth Transition outline color to 50 milliseconds. So that's it for input uh, field, input box, and uh, label is complete, focus is complete. Now let's create an animation. When I click on it, the first name goes up. Dot input group, and inside that input group, pick input. And in this input, when user focus on it, then select the input. Plus is used for direct sibling selection. Input group, and I'm choosing label. And uh, now I want to apply a transform property and transform translate 0, comma, minus 30. Minus is using for. Uh, reverse animation and uh, also apply a scale property and the scale property to 0 0.8 means that when I uh, when I click on it the first name goes up and little bit uh, reduce its size that's the property when I click on it you can see that first name is goes top and uh, it get reduced in size but uh, when I click outside, the text comes back. But when I type something and click outside, the text comes uh, or label comes again on its position. But I want to uh, the label stick on the top if uh, the input field is filled. So let's remove this input field first. Now create one more property. And this time it will be valid valid property is used uh, when the input field is filled and dot input group and uh, in the input group I'm using label again and the, I'm copying this transform property uh, and paste it here it means that when input field, this input field is filled, uh, valid means that input field is filled, then the label will be the same as the animation when I click on it or user click on the input field. And you can see that the label is on the top when I type something and click on the site or uh, defocus this input field, the text remains on the top or level remains in on the top 
level comes uh, to its original position. This is first part of this video and second part will be the JavaScript part and I'm using validation uh, means that uh, if a username is uh, available it shows a tick or available here or if the username is not available then it shows on the right that username is not available or the password field if the password field is uh, not valid means that if requirement uh, of a password is six character or eight characters with alphabet or special characters uh, to check uh, that validation and shows uh, that the uh, password is correct or username is available uh, lively so i will use a javascript for that and uh, i hope that i will upload that video very soon so that's it for now and take care i will meet you in next video